This lesson will cover sorting in Excel. Now, we have a data set that we're going to use as a sample. You can find this data set for download in the description, so you can follow along as well. We'll use this data set for a lot of our exercises. Please do subscribe and look at our other videos as well. Now, looking at this data set, say, for example, you want to sort by uh, the age of the people. So uh, after you've clicked the filter button, you can uh, sort by using the filters, or the default way is to click on the sort and filter after you select on the age, and then sort, say, reverse alphabetical highest to lowest. And when you do that, it's all sorted by reverse alphabetical order. Now, say you want to sort uh, by claim number alphabetically. Another way to do it would be uh, instead of going to clicking on the column and clicking uh, the sort button here, we can also, in filter mode, click on here and then click on uh, the sorting that you want to do. For example, smallest to largest. Now you can see that the claim numbers are all sorted by uh, the lowest to the highest values. Now, what if you want to sort by multiple columns? So more of an advanced sort. Uh, that's also pretty easy as well. So say, for example, you want to sort by first the age and then the claim number. So that way it's uh, sorted by age first and then claim number. So we click on here, the sort and filter icon. And when we click on here, you see uh, something called custom sort. When we click on custom sort, it provides, uh, it highlights the data that you're likely going to use. If it doesn't highlight the right data, you can just highlight it manually. And then first, you select your first uh, sorting. So this is what will sort first. This is the primary sort. We sort it by age. And we want it to the smallest number to the highest number. Uh, so therefore, sorting it uh, by age, going from youngest to oldest. Now we click on this add one level, and we add another level, we can do the secondary sorting. So after it's sorted by age, within the columns, what should it sort by? And then we select claim number. So claim number is already selected here. And then again, it's smallest to largest. And when we click OK, you can see that it sorts by age. And then for people within the same age, say for example, age two, Notice that the claim numbers are also sorted alphabetically. So you can sort by as many columns as you want. This sort is very powerful and lets you uh, sort uh, in a more advanced manner. I hope this helps. Uh, please remember to subscribe to our videos and, uh, sorry, I mean subscribe to our channel and keep on watching our videos because we'll teach a lot more about Excel. Thank you.